On today's episode, one of the greatest things you can do to a piece of tuna, sear it with Captain Crunch on the outside. And before you think I'm crazy for combining beautiful tuna with Captain Crunch cereal, just know that A, it's one of the best things you'll ever eat, and B, it will make you a star in your home with your friends and family. Here we go. We'll start by turning the Captain Crunch into dust because it will go on the outside of the tuna. Put it into a Ziploc bag, get the air out, seal it up, and then if you had a rolling pin, you could use a rolling pin, or like me, I prefer a bottle of vodka, and away you go. And here's the thing, it has to be like dust because if the pieces are too big when you cook the tuna and then you go to cut it, it's just gonna fall off and you don't want that. So get it really, really dusty. And then just simply put it into a bowl. All right, next we're gonna cut up some green onions. They will be used as garnish and I like them super fine. Next, we're gonna prep our tuna. And all it gets is a little neutral oil. I'm using avocado oil and then we'll season with salt. And then into the Cap'n Crunch. And we put it in. We want to make sure that the cereal coats really well all the way around. It's time to cook. We heat a non-stick pan and once it's medium high, we add that same neutral oil. Again, I'm using avocado oil because it smokes at a higher temperature than any other oil does. Let's give it a little bit and then in goes the tuna. And you'll see it starts cooking immediately it's only going to get a few seconds on each side. And as you can see, the color is starting to change. And once it does, up it goes. We do the sides. We're trying to keep it rare in the middle. It's been in about 20 seconds so far. If your pan's hot enough, it really shouldn't take any more than that. If I turn it this way, you can see you get a shot right there of us keeping it rare in the middle. And we're done. You immediately remove it to a couple paper towels and while it's cooling just a bit, prep your serving plate, which will look like this. Okay, we had two things at this point. One is Japanese mayonnaise. We spread it out and then we add some sriracha. Then we're going to cut our tuna and that's what we're going for. We're going for crispy, beautiful outside and the beautiful pink still rare in the middle. And the pieces go on. Green onions, and we're done. You stand back, you survey your work, you see beautifully crispy pieces of Captain Crunch seared tuna, rare in the middle, little sriracha, the Japanese mayonnaise that makes all the difference in the world. Then you take a piece and make sure that you get some of the Japanese mayo, the sriracha, and green onions with your bite. And there you have it. There's something that just works. You have the spicy of the sriracha. You've got that sort of tangy of the mayo and that's Japanese mayo has like rice vinegar in it and a little more tang. And then the sweet of the cereal. It's crazy how good this is, crazy. And by the way, you don't have to buy expensive tuna. This is called a Saku block, not expensive for this thing. All right, that's it. The more I talk, the less time you have to go make this. So go make this now. 